death hall. The front is eating us alive here in Flanders. And what's left of us? The rats and the lice take too. I pray every day for this war to be over. Before the next wave of German heroes is burned to ashes in this madness. Please reply. Just this once at least. Your brother.
the savages locked in there, Grandfather. So you can learn from their fate. Take a closer look. See how they're sitting on the floor, naked, in the dirt. Do they have anything to be proud of, Paul? Mm -mm. And yet, they are. They charged into our machine gun fire, screaming like madmen and waving their primitive... I know I cannot ask you for both. I want Johannes to live. I have chosen him. Please accept Paul into your heavenly kingdom. He is a good boy. I cut off the cuckoo's flesh as I cut off its life, so that Johannes may live in its stead. Please, dear Lord, come to my aid and bring back my Johannes.
Dear father, you have disowned me not because of that night in the attic, but because I am a rebel within the confines of this family. If you had dared rebel against your own father, you could have spared mother much pain and torture. Your only loyalty is to a dead man. This house is under the rule of the dead. His spirit pervades every stone. I am packing and moving out. Soon you shall be rid of me. I would rather go to war than return to this accursed house. Johannes, July 1914. Those who gaze at Mother's tree are the same, and yet not so. One I told in confidence, you see, a secret that I know. The keeper of my secret has a mouth like spring awakening, wings like resurrection, eyes like the self. to arms to protect the fatherland, the following beloved members of our association did suffer heroic deaths in the fall of 1914, in faithful fulfillment of their duty. Theresa Galvail, author and nurse. Rudi Meyer, author. Christian Mertens, painter and salesman. Conrad Bonhart, poet and accountant. Deeply saddened, we mourn the loss of our comrades in the fight for justice and freedom. The Blue Dove will honor their memory and their work. May they rest in peace, far from home and in foreign soil. Thank you. 
and my Johannes. My heart is bursting with joy. He is already in Lübeck and will be here soon. I have cleaned the large attic room so he may be made comfortable. I shall buy paints and canvases for him. My Johannes is coming home. <sighs> October 5th, 1918. I refuse to go up to the attic. The wailing and clattering alone is unbearable. And the smell... Wake up, soldier. Soldier! You need to come back. You're no son of mine. You're a disgrace to this family. You perverts are driving our nation to ruin! Carl, don't! Nothing happened! War is coming! And you're going to die! Look at yourselves! You're not men! Happened. Did it, Johannes? Tell him. Christian? You've got no idea who I am. <gasps> Paul did the right thing telling us what you were doing up here. Look at you, a pair of filthy strumpets. You repulse me, the pair of you. Get out. Get out of my house!
Thomas's paintings will protect me from the cuckoo. I show them to it every day to make sure. The cuckoo wants to pay too, but I have taken its awful paintings away from it. I don't want to see them. I give it nothing but the black oil paints to drink. It wants them, and I don't want it to live. The thing that has returned to me is not Johannes. It is a cuckoo. Come to sit in his nest. A cuckoo, that's what it is. It sits up there in the attic and expects me to cater to its every whim. Just like he used to be. Carl's father. Perhaps it is Carl's father. Torturing me still. He refuses to remain dead.